Chicken drums have a bad rip. I don't know why. They're real tasty. You barbecue them right. You prep them right. One. You barbecue them right. Two. Bro. It's meat. It's just something you can pick up. I remember when I was a kid. At all my family's gatherings. Always had chicken drums. Not only are they cheap. They're a mean source of protein. But they fill you up. And a good chicken drum can go a very long way. So enough talking. Where are we at? Yeah, I think, um, wait, what's the time? Seven, eight. I'm about 10 hours in on my 10 hour lasagna day. So it's not lasagna day for this video, it's chicken drum day. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how to make chicken drums easy as, all right? Easy as. You just need any kind of deep tray. And I'm going in with some water. I'll chuck all the measurements down below. But to be honest, I'm not measuring this. Let's just say 1.5 liters of water. Some sea salt. Sugar. If any of you guys know what I'm making, drop in the comments. We'll just yell at the screen. If you guys don't know, I'm making a brine. This is what's gonna implement our flavor into our meat. And we're just mixing this round, getting everything dissolved. And that's literally it. Water, sugar, salt. And what this is gonna do, Osmosis baby, every single time. It's gonna draw that chicken moisture out and it's gonna put this chicken brine in. Depending how long it's gonna sit in the brine will depend your sugar to salt ratio. If you're doing it same day, a lot of salt. If you're letting it sit 24, 48 hours, less salt. And all we're doing is dropping our chickies in. I've got two trays. Make sure all of them are flat. And like literally no shit. That's it. I'm covering this and it's going into the fridge to sit overnight until I see all of you guys tomorrow. Alright, welcome back. Oh, it's a new day. It's a new video. Yep, you heard that right. I've got my chicken drums this time. I'll show you what the barbecue is looking like. Got that piece of manuka. Scragglers in the front. Energy basket in the back. That's all the power. Now I'm going to be cooking this guy direct. Indirect, oh, not direct. Same thing, similar thing, cooking indirect and then giving it a sear. I hope you guys remember what this chicken was. This was brine chicken. Oh, I ain't got time for that. I'm just chucking all of these guys on and then rearranging it. I'm cooking with the foreskins up. This part I'm just making sure all of them are flat, nothing's overlapping. Add some more mana before we chuck on the lid. And we say bye, 20 minutes. Okay, for half the chicken, I'm gonna do like a sweet chili glaze. And then the other half would be plain. I wanna go generous, so half a bottle should be good. A little bit more, cause I reckon this shit will slap. Yeah. I'll probably do like a 70-30 split. And that's it. Glaze easy as done. Wow, wow, wow. A chicken update. Shoo, 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 shoo. I adjusted the fuel. I think I added another piece of manuka. Moved it closer to the chickens. But that's how we're looking. A little update after 20 minutes. I'm just stoked, eh? Real stoked because everything went real smooth. No silly business, no mess ups. Bro, because like doing stuff on charcoal too, the variables are just different. And it's real easy if something goes wrong, then you know you get delayed by one, two, even three hours. I know that because South African people always get braai wrong. <laughs> So, I'm minimizing all of the wrongness by doing it the day before and then slowly reheating it. I'll come back, I'll check it in 20 minutes because we are coming to the end of the life of the charcoals. I don't expect them to be roaring or nothing like that, you feel me? they just there petering out. Is that even the word for it? Petering? 
I'm dragging my feet, bro. Cause it's been a long ass day. Been a long ass week too. I actually need to see the timer. I need to see the timer. I don't have my phone and I left it. Bro, without Siri, I'm wraps, bro. Sometimes my brain just don't work like that after a long day. But Siri is just one of those things. I mean, what is it? It's like Cortana and our Master Chief. Uh, literally it. I've really been smashing the tea. Have a look. I got three different tea bags. I'm just refilling up. I probably have like two or three cups per bag. So that's like six cups of tea, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot about these, eh? Got some sweet chili sauce. And I'm just gonna go over half of the chicken drums. Just brush it on. I'm not cutting it with water, just because we want it to be thick. And we actually want it to glaze the chicken. Don't be cheap with it. You need that sweet chili sauce thick. Okay, so we have half the drums glazed, other half plain. Lid goes back on. The fuel, very slow. I think temp is around 170. So. That's good for me because I can just chill the fuck out. Our chicken's cooked, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just giving it a slight a little tap of sear. A little tap of sear? What the f is that, man? Look, anyone that wanna talk shit about my fuel management, nothing left. There'll be some clowns that'll be like, oh, that's the perfect ones to grill on, bro. Uh, yeah, if you want to eat at fucking 11 p.m. tomorrow. We're going to get into the final taste test. I have my chicken drums. I really want to give the sweet chili one a go. And I'm going to do exactly that. Okay. The cue that I usually follow is like, the chicken will have like a piece like this that will come off. Or just like separate. But these things have been cooking for... It's like 45 minutes. All right. It's still steamy? Yeah. Cheers. Holy shit. That's so juicy and full of flavor. No dryness, a nice bit of heat from the sweet chili. Smoky, but they're brine, hey, they're brine. Smash it. Yum. I'm going to go to bed now. Massive day. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make some smoked brine chicken drums for your birthday. Catch you on the next one.